In the old days, if your GPS or GNSS receiver had troubles, uh, about all you could do with the data logger is reset it. But these days, uh, with the new Trimble R2, you can access the web user interface with uh, any kind of device, uh, Windows, an Android, or an iOS. You can log right in there and see what's going on. So this video is going to show you how to access the R2 web user interface with an Android device. Step one is just to click the button and turn on the Trimble R2. Then we'll jump over to the Android device. I'm using a product called MobyZen to show you the screen of my Samsung Galaxy. So what we want to do is access the web UI through settings and Wi-Fi. What we're going to do is switch from um, our building Wi-Fi to the Trimble R2. This 1301 is the last for the serial number, so I'll go ahead and say connect. And we're connected to the R2 GNSS. After that we can close the Wi-Fi settings and go for a web browser like Google Chrome. And then the R2 has a specific IP address and that is found in the documentation but it's 192.168.142.1 and we'll post this below the video on our blog again 192.168.142.1 I've got an extra one here alright there we go and you hit enter and you're prompted for a login. If you haven't changed this on your R2, the default username is admin, all lowercase. And the password is password, all lowercase. But the purpose of accessing the web UI is to figure out why this R2 is having troubles. We can click up here and then go to receiver status and activity and see that we're tracking plenty of satellites so maybe the problem is in our Bluetooth output. So we can go to IO configuration and click on one of our Bluetooth outputs and maybe the trouble was uh, our software wanted GGA at uh, 1 hertz instead of 2 hertz so with the web UI we can change that and make sure you scroll down and click OK to save those settings there are a whole bunch of other things you can do with the web UI but we just wanted to show you how to access it uh, with an Android smartphone or tablet. The web user interface just gives you a lot more options than in the past for you to be able to troubleshoot and help yourself in the field. But that's it for this recording. Thank you for watching. For more information visit blog.compasstoolsinc.com or send us an email at support at compasstoolsinc.com